It may be a small city-state, but it boasts many firsts, including one of the world's busiest sea and air traffic hubs. But a recent study by NUS Business School found things aren't quite so progressive in Singapore's boardrooms. The first Singapore Board Diversity Report ranked Singapore bottom among developed economies globally for boardroom gender diversity. Even in the region, it lags well behind neighbouring Malaysia. At the launch of the report held at Swiss Bank UBS, Singapore Minister of State Halima Yaakob was blunt in her assessment. This figure is dismal compared to the situation in other countries. The biggest surprise, she said, was that while Singaporean women have made much progress in education and at work, they continue to face obstacles in rising to the top in the corporate world. I wish to stress that this is not just a numbers game. You're just not looking at a board and asking what's the proportion of male and female. Rather, it is about ensuring that our leadership in all sectors reflect the diversity of our society. The NUS study of 700 Singapore-listed firms found the representation of female directors lowest in finance, while it was highest in transport, storage and communications, and in property. Across all sectors in 2010, female representation was a low 6.9%. The study also found women were better represented in executive directorships, with 9.1%, while in non-executive directorships the number fell to 5.6%. But in more than 60% of companies surveyed, there was not even a single female director. That puts Singapore ahead of India, which a separate study found has just 4.7% female representation, but well behind China and Malaysia, both with around 8%. Meanwhile, competing Asian financial centre Hong Kong scores 8.6%. In general, what we will see in the developed countries, the figure is uh, typically above 10%. I think uh, Singapore aspires to be among the best in terms of corporate governance, so I think that should be at the minimum our aspiration level. I would like to endorse the message of hope, but our trend analysis uh, doesn't really give us arguments to assume that this uh, figure will, by itself, without any external intervention, rise very fast. Participants at the launch agreed that boardroom diversity is essential for businesses to stay competitive and reflect the diversity of their customer base. But this sparked questions over appropriate levels of intervention and whether quotas or other systems put in place elsewhere might be a solution. In the recent UK report by Lord Mervyn Davis, he was looking at specifically the subject of women on board. Um, it was decided that, uh, for now anyway, uh, the UK wasn't going to introduce a quota system, but the UK was going to put in a monitoring system and was going to uh, require uh, companies to explain uh, the process for board selection and the process for selection on the basis of uh, uh, broader diversity. Another questioner suggested the Singaporean state should take the lead by encouraging more women onto the boards of government-linked companies. I agree with you entirely, absolutely. I mean, if we have to start somewhere, we should start from our own uh, government, whether in terms of appointments to statutory boards, in terms of appointments to government-linked companies or Tamasic-linked companies. I think there's certainly scope for us to say that, look, we must, we want to be uh, more diverse in our appointments, that we will start by consciously making an effort to look for women who are qualified, competent, mm. capable, and appoint them to the boards. Starting from such a low base, it will be some time before the view from the top better reflects the street view in Singapore. With the hiring process for directorships largely driven by familiarity, unless concrete steps are taken, the highest levels in business will continue to be a boys' club. Nonetheless, one of Singapore's most experienced female executives remains optimistic. I think it's a wake-up call for us to say, you know, uh, why are we wasting the talent we have in the marketplace? It's a wake-up call for us to reassess uh, how we can better uh, nominate uh, uh, women from our society who can contribute to the boardroom and who would add perspective and diversity to our boardroom. So I see it as a good thing. And again, as I said, what gets measured, gets monitored and gets acted upon. For NUS Business School, I'm Joe Haverley.